Hello and welcome back to my Sock Pop series, and, and, and which I endeavor to play every Sock Pop game, new and old. Uh, here's a new one, Tile Tale. Uh, first of all, I just wanna I, I wanna go on record here. I really appreciate this. Uh, I feel like this is maybe one of the first Sock Pop games I've seen with uh, variable music and sound controls. It really, really makes a difference. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if if the devs end up watching this, I really do appreciate that. Uh, I know that these games are meant to have a quick turn, like dev time, quick dev time, quick turnaround time. So I know that uh, extra quality of life features like those are kind of hard to squeeze into the cycle, but uh, they are super appreciated. Anyway, let's play Tile Tale. Welcome to the tile to Tile Tale. In this game, you place tiles until you run out of tiles to place. Your first tile is a forest tile. Try placing it in the top right corner. Yo, this is d new, a, a tutorial in a in a sock pop game. Whoa! Your next tile is a grass tile. If you place it from the left into the bottom row, you can make a two by two of grass tiles. Oh yeah! If you run out of tiles, you lose the game. Score enough points to go up a level and get a reward. If you take too long to go up a level, bad stuff will happen. So what is this? This is a pig. Um, what is the pig gonna do? Bad stuff? We could do like this. Uh, and then we can push those along to create a two by two. And that's it. Grass, something, something happened. Uh, oh, we can push right here and create a two by two. Okay, okay, I'm, in, I'm into this. This is kind of cool. What's that uh, thing? Star doesn't move from the spot, gives bonus points and an extra tile when removed with tile combination. Interesting. So we don't want to push that there because then, well, then that will, well, I guess we could. Yeah, sure, because that'll make making this a two by two a little bit easier. Um, the problem is I, I'm kind of waiting for the right tile. I do appreciate that I can see what tiles are ahead. I don't know if it's this one or this one is the only thing. Is it forest, do you think? Let's find out. No, it was the one on the top. Okay. So um, I am kind of like hoping to get the right tile that I need. So, ooh, level up. Unlock the tall grass tile, 10. Usually comes with the bunny tiles with bunnies yield power-ups. Mud, tent. Tent combinations bordering the tent will yield an extra tile. The tent is a building. There can always only be one of each building type. Unlock the autumn forest tile. I don't know, uh, let's do tall grass. Seems to me we should be able to make a combo here. I don't know if we can though. Okay, okay, okay. And we have grass. We You, you need to probably pay close attention to what tiles you're gonna have. Um, only having a three by three grid means that you can basically only work on one combination at a time, which is an interesting design. Um, all right, so now we have forest. We wanna try and, you wanna try and com uh, put things together even if you can't necessarily make it happen. I guess uh, that's very difficult to do. So like right now we have, we know we have um, wasteland ahead. So we should probably should have planned it a little bit ahead because right now I can't do much with this. I could push this up. We're gonna have forest for a while. So I'm not actually gonna have any uh, grassland. So actually I should probably plan for forest being our next combination. So I guess we'll do that. Um, yeah, I probably ruined this. So close to having a combo here. I don't know if it's actually possible though. Is it possible? I don't know, like, is it po It's not possible to push a tile into another tile that you need, right? I, I don't think I explained myself well there. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I, I ruined this. That's okay. It was a, it was a, that was a practice. Wah. I wonder what the shuffle was. 
So these are some of the ones you can get. Obtain a thousand points and you get a house. 250 points combinations. Grant you a tent. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I, I occasionally come up with something. I don't know what these are. What are so spend a tile to randomly shuffle both the board and your tile stack. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's a way to, to like... Yeah, honestly, shuffling would be better. I don't know if that helped. Let's try again. No, that's even worse. And then, and, and of course, I'm spending tiles. Uh oh, we have a we have a match right there. Yeah, this is this is not okay. I'll take ten tiles, but um, that's that is not gonna be good. Okay, we can push this in here and then push that again to make another match happen. All right, I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of this, I think. My problem is in is situations where the like this, where you have like, oh, you know, a really good uh, set happening. I guess we could push it, like we know our next one is tall grass, right? So I could push this over here so that I, I can make that match happen on the next one. Now I do have to prioritize these portals because not prioritizing them is gonna be real bad for business. So shuffling in, in certain situations can be really good. Oh, enlarge the board, yes. That's really good. I have to assume enlarging the board is a double-edged sword. It doesn't necessarily serve you as much as you'd hope. Um, so we do have portals coming on the on the field here. All right, we can we can maybe get rid of a couple of them. Okay, let's shuffle. Sometimes shuffling just helps me reorient re reorient my brain. <laughs> There's so many portals on the field. Um, remove the grass tile from your stack tile uh, tile stack. The board in your tile pool. This means you won't get this tile type anymore during this session. This also means you won't find tiles in this tech tree. If you remove dirt, you're excluded from getting mud and other tiles derived from it. Okay, so tiles are derived from other tiles. Spawns bees. Okay, uh, maybe that was not the best timing for something like that. Um, all right, we're gonna push the those tall grass over so that we can push the tall grass into a match. And actually, we'll get two combos there. That's good, nice. And we got some bees. I'm not getting very <clears throat> good luck with the, the this tile placement. So that's actually the end. Still, that was pretty good, 560. It's like a really simple premise. It, it basically, it kind of reminds me of 2048, if you remember that game. Um, like, just like combining numbers on the on a field, super simple on paper. Oh, look at that. That's our first like times three that I've done. We leveled up right away, nice. Um, so maybe we wanna try and go up a tech tree, like autumn tiles, for instance. Okay, all right, this is working out well. It has a little bit to do with watching what, what's coming up next, for sure. Um, oh, this is brutal. And then also, um, like, just kind of trying to saturate the board with the right, good stuff. This game kind of has a Rubik's Cube-ish feel to it. Cool. Oh yeah, that was great. That was great. Uh, ooh, outpost. Shoots down wildlife on surrounding tiles. Each kill gives you one tile. This is a building. There can always only be one of each building type. Okay. Cool. Skip the first tile in a row or column. So if we do like this, yeah, it'll skip it and then we can push it back and then that gets rid of everything on there. That was really nice. Oh, but we got rid of our outposts. Damn it. It's okay, we got another outpost on the field coming up. Look at all that, that grassland. That's ripe for something. All right, let's, um, let's, let's shuffle. We need to get, sort this out a little bit. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that works out. That works out. Um, oh. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to put that on there. I just want the wasteland, and then I'm going to do a times two on the wasteland, and we'll create another six. This is a really engaging game. I want to do this again. Skip the first tile in a row or column. Oh, that didn't, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to, oh no. The portals keep coming. They keep coming and they won't stop coming. Nice, leveled up. Um, Let's do like wheat fields. So I'm not sure how the wheat feels. It yields high amount of points, but only a single tile when combined. Not sure I understand what that means. But we have three of them coming in. Hmm, this is tricky. Well, we have a we have a tall grass coming in. So there's got to be a way to make this tall grass work for us. I got rid of the outpost again. I'm just going to kind of ignore it because I, I feel like worrying about it is hurting me and it just comes back right away. There's like a portal on every field. I don't know how I've survived as long as I have. I have to wonder if there's a like what prompts the portals from like happening. Um, I don't think that there's any way for me to save this. So I'm gonna shuffle in the hopes that maybe I can do something in the last. Yeah, there we go, perfect. But now I'm out of tiles, okay. Well, still that was more interesting than just like placing my last two tiles and doing nothing. So we got um, tents. We should have got tents and we got houses and town halls. And then eventually we can go to highways, my goodness. There's a lot in this game. Connect 12 tiles in a four by three combination. Oh my God. Connect nine tiles in a three by three combination. Did I do that? Maybe, do these like oh, appear on the board when I achieve it? Or is it like something that appears in future moves um, if I obtain the challenge and then adds replayability? I don't know. But uh, Tile Tale, that's a really cool one. I, I really, really like this game. That, that is solid. Um, I, I even do more of this. I don't know. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.